Is there a Fire Lord Tower push? Possible. A talent's back on the menu for some weird reason. Okay, we still go with Immolation, despite the weaker mean worlds. Thank you, Taker, for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Thank you for covering while uh, we were kind of traveling, etc. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Greetings to Montenegro, I think. Greetings to the tower. That's definitely right. Just check out Taker, old walker of legend. Give him a follow here on Twitch. Tower, Taker with a three. So far, so standard, eh? Blade Master, or both of these heroes, actually. A little bit buffed, due to the fact that there is Claws plus 5 again. And on one camp, there's no ring drop anymore. Good scout. Couldn't prevent it. Is the demon hunter level 2 already? A calm game so far. Outside of the little skirmishes here between the heroes. Few attempted snipes, whole focus getting slowed big time. Creep frost armor, by the way, nerfed. That has always been quite annoying, but now it, la it doesn't last as long as it anymore. Big mana is of course nice. The focus is always a split second too late as it seems. This one he got. Nice trifecta or quad factor even. Tier 2 Expo. Blade Master has no windwalk no more. Careful, buddy. Shadow Hunter Beastery, Raider Walker, back on the menu, with the faster timing, of course. Oh, don't lose a grunt in the early game. Oh, deny attempt, but actually was just helping him. That is very unfortunate. Man, doesn't seem to be Focus's game. So far, Demon Hunter Panda. I say this for 15 years, and now that we have more walkers on the menu, I say it again. Spirit Link is to a degree great against AoE for the first half of your HP pool, but it can backfire hard. As all the units by... Like, there is AoE damage already, then the damage distribution is getting a an additional AoE, thanks to Spirit Link. Scales will be tipped. Coming 
Chaos so far. Lining up Dryads. Cleaning up that expo. He started that expo a long time ago. Just never had the time to clean it. Clear it. Oi, 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 oi. Powerful creeps. There we go. Cow, the most impressive micro of probably all Night Elves. Or definitely top three. Yo, he shouldn't be out microed here, but he might be surrounded thanks to an ensnare focus. Trying to block. That was uh, interesting to say the least. Trying to block this around with the Serpent Ward, that didn't work. Yeah, after an action-packed Happy Birth Infi that got us all hyped up, this is a little calmer of a series. Two base, two base, the nature of it. Oops, Kaho. Didn't see the orc around, eh? Nighttime. If only Night Elves had a tool to get more vision during nighttime. It's looking like a strong push by Focus. The signature play is to split up the Blade Master against this, but now he's using the entire army with the Raider Walker push that, of course, hits faster than before due to the Walker availability. And this tree, does it have a bright future? I don't know, Kaho in trouble. Ooh, that potion was nice. Blade Master now has to retreat. Focus with brute force. Kaho's timing. Oh, the Raiders, he gets it. What a strike by Focus. He's losing a unit and the TP. That's certainly expensive. Gets a Dryad on the way out. Great, great, great exchange. And now focus. Two heroes alive. SH level 3. Raider Walker online. Expo up. What a position to be in. And now he can either raid a lame or rest on his expansion. Because what base race scenario is there where Dryads are winning? I've yet to see it. Okay, the pandas and the demon hunter, they gotta carry. Mana potion, heal potion, all, all available. If not for this expansion, I'd say that Kaho is almost all in here. The Berserker backline is getting cleaned to a degree by a Demon Hunter. You gotta be more conservative with the mana, of course. The immolation not really a thing, even though it would be helpful. A heal spell would be so good, but so is the breath. Supplies to like a neck. Both armies will be decimated. Cows dry it dance. How good is it? Against Raiders, it's so hard to do. This could potentially be three more kills. Ah, ah. There they are. And the big red numbers are rising to one kill after the next for focus. The crowd control of Raiders. The dry it micro can be as good as anyone's. If they're under the net, they're dead. And that's game. GG. 1 0 for focus. Great, great, great attack. I don't think Kao saw this coming. I don't think Kao saw this coming. The classic focus blade master harass. Got backed up by a shadow hunter, radar, walker. And all of a sudden, the tree of life was no more. Terran has stand. Goes to the orc. So now... Cow is facing elimination all of a sudden.
If they're under the net, they're dead. I'm a rhyme machine, you know me. All right, cow. On your map pick. Can you survive? Twisted Meadows it is. Do we expect any changes? X7 Tech, thank you for the 11 month, mate. And yeah, yeah, is a change. Keeper craft it is. Moving away from the demon hunter. Obviously, no direct changes to the Keeper, but Moonwell affects everything. Is it a mass expo game? This game can provide amazing entertainment in any matchup. It's a lot about mercenary camps again. And that looked hard to hold, man. Kao had Nature's Blessing ready early. So yeah, we're switching away completely from the Mass Dryads. Kao had some intricate uh, AP pushes here on this map. Let's see if it's time for that again. Oh, sweet block by Kaho. We'll be able to get through it, but you know, a little annoying. Drains mana. And that is... Nothing new here, Blade Master. Into the Night Elf base, going for the Wisp, but good juggling. Oh! Backstab at the perfect time, so there is a Wisp loss. But it slows down the keeper by so much. Three wisps down. Oh. It's not good. Kaho gets overwhelmed early today in most of the games, I'd say. In case of Infi, got overwhelmed by an Acolyte, really. Dude, focus. That's gutsy. Finally, some peace. Wow. But he's supply blocked. There's no Moonwell on the way. He's tacking, so he can't rebuild Wisps. Um, tough early game.
smooth sailing for focus. He needed nothing but a blade master so far to cause massive trouble to Chaos Strategy. Big delays. At least there's an expo coming up, but it's only three hunters. This is not scary at all. Oh, even the steel here. I don't think it prevents it level 3, but it definitely delayed it. Got level 2 here. Mirror image up against Entangle. Don't think he has the mana though. But speed scroll is enough as the keeper is too slow. Ay, ay, ay. This is a nightmare for Kaho so far. He needs to out elf focus with expansions and stuff. So against these little forces, I'd say Focus has the time to counter expand. It's clearly his plan. Level up a bit. Raise the snakes. In my opinion, by the way, if the Shadow Hunter is equipped with a flute, the Serpent Wards should be stronger. Or cheaper. Something. Ooh, good snipe by Kaho. Ru mm, that's not too good, but running into the orc base, finding a shaman, that's important. Against this playstyle, against Hunt's Spirit Link could actually backfire, so shaman still the best place, the best uh, solution. No. no way, right? This can't work. Can it work? Oi! That's a burrow down! Did not expect that! Hmm. Fixes that expansion position on the left hand side. Gets another shaman focus! Wake up! He stole mana with the wand so the shaman can't purge. Nice observation, Pishna. That was sweet indeed. Alright, we fight. Level 2.7 on the shadow. A very hard blade. But a ring of region plus heal wave. There is some sustain for sure. But... There's an owl! There's an owl! There's an owl! Oy, 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 oy. That was a weird game. So early on, Focus destroyed Cow in the base. Three wisps down immediately. And things were going according to plan. And then all of a sudden, there's a keeper in the orc base. It's minus two shaman. It's minus a burrow. And then there's a fight and no blade. And it's over. <coughs> that was odd.
Well, 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 well. Gives us game three. And as you, as they say, more Warcraft is always more good. Then focuses loses pick. It's uh, come to my attention, by the way, that regardless of the races of the two players, a series of times recently goes to map three if we start on neutral ground and then it's loser's choice. Maybe, just maybe! Do maps have a strong influence on balance and maybe more than... Ra not more, but we should talk about it more than race balance? Just maybe. Thank you gods for the sub, 14 months, much love! Decider. Only one can stay alive! But that is the number one orc map. Holy moly, I love that. Stay with the keeper. Focus. I could definitely see him go for that. Blade Master Harass again. It worked well. And then play a more stable mid game and go. Instant hunt transition this time. That's a keeper. Uncontested level two. Big mana potion. And the Blade Mass is doing no echo damage. That's sweet. That's pretty much exactly. The way Kahu wants it. No! Feed, work! Work, feed! Work, work, work. Come on! No secret APs, just straight up expo play. Focus has done this a million times. The early game probably didn't go his way. And he's getting creep jacked, isn't he? Oh. Oh, Kaho from downtown. Such a sweet steal. And our keeper is on the hunt with Entangle. That is not, maybe Focus still a bit jet lagged. Hunt say hello, Grunt says goodbye, Keeper level 3. Once... 
we left Terran a stand. This was not a good series for focus at all. How do you stop this? Keeper level 3, 5 minutes in. Uses the big mana potion, doesn't even have to get home. You Who cares about nerf moon worlds when you have a big mana potion? I do care about Alpha Machine 12, since he cares about me and subs for 20 months in a row. Mwah. Focus needs a strong fighting spirit as Kaho cleans the middle with the Tanky Alchemist. Expo on the way. I really like that. Shop into Marketplace, then you move down a bit. You're in position for the Expo. Health stone for more sustain, why not? Little bit of a steal, but can we really say it's it's a bit of momentum? No. At least the shamans aren't getting sniped. At least Focus's base is secured. So there's something to it. But I don't really see an attack like on Terran stand. At all. Oh. Big invul potion traded for an entangle. Yeah, you ran straight into the night off. Okay, focus trying to buy time for the Great Hall, but. Cow is just there. Pretty passive play. But a very effective play. Focus no TP. Just the speed scroll, but there's Wisps. Archer already with long range. Acid bomb onto the workers. So okay, he gets the entangled. That's something, I guess. Wisps are here, so are the Treants. Blade. Oh, he wants that blade gone. Not enough damage for now. And the strikes on archers are working to a degree. But what about these shamans? They're left alone. Still a good escape. I feel like there was more possible for Kaho. And nature's revenge now. Kao lost quite a bit, eh? But this expo is far, far, far from finishing. And without certain wards, what are the odds? First sign of a crystal ball, by the way, here. Three charges now. MMR Summer Festival, thank you for the tier one sub. Much appreciated. This almost feels like do or die for focus. Can he somehow distract Kaho? Maybe use Raiders Blade Master as bait to save that expo. Everything is so bruised and hurt. This could be the knockout right here. Ooh, Blade Master can't be used in that fight. Alchemist still has the health stone. He's down the dumpster, isn't he? One unit after the next. Shaman fall on the right. Raider grunts fall on the front. Blade Master can't be healed no more. And that great hall can't be cancelled no more. Cow! 
After losing the third wisp on Twisted, he says, That's enough! That's enough damage you did to my people! And from that moment on, he just dominated focus. Shadow Hunter Dad, focus out! No focus, focus magic! Just cow. Despite the Night Elves claiming their race is unplayable, still getting some wins here. Just totally overwhelmed.